can only bless you with one thing, you know. The first, the first couple, right? Or the Munchava. Can you imagine three hours after the wedding, they were already like, was already like a little wall between them. Because of the snake, right? And it says, what was the snake doing on Eden? Because sadly enough, Odom and Chava didn't have a house. They were living in the garden. And as much as it's Gan Eden, right? But it's open, so the snake is crawling around. What's the fixing? What, what are we doing? The fixing is we're making a chup, right? Hey, building a house. And the deepest, deepest depth is, you know, when 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 Odom and Chabe ran off and they were hiding under a tree, you know what they were doing? They were building a little house. And the real wedding between Odom and Chabe <coughs> was really under the tree. And you know, you remember we're learning it so, so in the deepest way. How do you know if somebody loves you? I can drink coffee with anybody, right? I can have a good time with anybody in the world. The question is, when I'm in trouble, whom can I ask? So, so Odom and Chava made, right? <coughs> they don't know how much they love each other. So here Chava did something wrong and she feels she's dying. She comes to Adam and she says, I'm afraid to die alone. Keep out, right? You should say, listen, I'm sorry, you know, I'm so, sorry you're dying, you know. I have, I have my own future, right? <laughs> And I have my own career. I'm sorry it didn't work out. I'm um, she eight. In order to die together with her. And you see, in Ishbut it's very clear that obviously it was never planned from God we should stay in Gan Eden. Because if God would wanted us to stay, we would have stayed, right? The truth is we were supposed to be in Gan Eden just a few minutes and then we go out into the world. And uh, anyway, so they build a house, right? What's a house? A house is, in a house I only want to live with somebody I love the most. Love the most, right? Anyway, so I want to bless you. You should never let the snake in. And don't ever live in the garden, even if it's beautiful. Some people think, you know, we have like an open house and everything, you know, it's like a garden. No, it's got to be a house. And I want to bless you with the best house. And, um, remember we're learning, Bob Walmart says, who Yoshev Pesach Ha'ayin was sitting by the door of his tent. You know, Avraham Avinu just converted, right? And so, and obviously Saul's conversion was so deep that the Torah doesn't mention it, because it's, even God couldn't put it into words, right? It's beyond us, right? But anyway, so when was the chuppah? Do you know when people convert, well, they have to get married, right? I mean, sometimes they have the privilege of converting two people, by do with Lamshu too. So then we have to come have a wedding, right? So when was the wedding? And who performed the wedding? But the answer is that the three angels performed the wedding, right? Because they asked, are you so rich He says, we know we're going to make the chuppah, right? He says, he never oil. She's, in, she's already under the chuppah waiting, right? So, so what Yosha Petra, Yemut Avraham was doing, the most important thing, the Jewish houses where the snake can't get in. So who Yosha Pesach Ayala was sitting by the gates to make sure that the snake is not coming in. Ah, because now when the angels are coming, you can have almost the highest chup in the world. Everybody understands what I'm saying. You know, the chup is like a little house. It's more than a little house. It's, it's a little bit of mikdash. Okay. I don't know if you know. Oh, yeah, we sang it already. Mm -hmm.
thing, you know, whenever I have a privilege to marry some people off, I always ask them, could you live without each other? And if one of them is a little like, you know, not so sure, and I say, listen, folks, I love you, but you have to go to another rabbi. The thing I shared with you once, I had a couple from Montreal, they came and uh, I asked them, can you live without each other? I just, I could not imagine being alive without whatever her name was. She says, I, I can imagine myself being married to somebody else. So I said, folks, I love you both, but, you know, I don't want to marry you. Four o'clock in the morning, it was ringing on my door like crazy. And here she's standing there with sweat eyes. She says, I'm so sorry. How could I have said such words? Came home and I was so ashamed of myself. Because I really couldn't live without him, you know. I want you to know that wedding was kibbutz. Hey, what's happening? Hey, it was like the Omer. I never forget it. It was in in, in in the forest in Montreal. It was raining, and nobody moved. It was so beautiful. You could feel my missus. You know, you can feel it when people don't love each other. You think, ah, what a waste of time, you know. But anyway, my toilet is because when did Chava know that she should really be married to, to Adam when she says, I'm dying? He says, if you're dying, I'm dying also. It's a different story. Right? Okay, I tell you, one day, one day, Mama Stovet Lamimi and Romero, we have to organize Mamish simply learning Beis Yaakov on Odom and Chava, you know, it's the deepest. Yeah, I don't want to say anything weird sometimes when I listen to people talking about Odom and Chava, you know, like Chava Terba, a very, very, very shallow woman, right? 
she sees an apple and there she falls through it. Actually, she was like a living cookbook that's all interested in. Adam was a very deep person, you know. Disgusting, right? Anyway, so now 